guys what I'm working with here. They sure as hell don't make these things easy for the people tearing them apart. <sighs> this is the last one was too. I got this one a little better. What I did is I just stripped it down the side first because this one actually they, it weaves its way in between some of the strap. It is on the top of the boards up against the two by fours and some of it is underneath. Pain in my ass is what they are, but I'm getting a lot of good lumber out of it, and they're really not that long, honestly. Like, I think I've been at this an hour and a half, and I got one, and basically a half done. That's where I'm at. All right, I'll show you again once I'm almost all the way done. Okay, here's the final count. From those two skids, I got 32 one by four by fives. I got uh, 10 two by four by fives. I got nine two by four by eights, and one two by four by eight that was broken. Not bad, For two hours work really, plus a whole bunch of nails. I'm gonna have the boy round up next time we're here, which will be tomorrow, well, he may not be here tomorrow, but you'll be seeing him, don't you worry. I'm going to teach that boy a work ethic.
Damn. Broken nails. Broken. Both sides. One down. Here's a little cubby. <sighs> okay. That's a night's work. Look at this dark outside. It's dark. I've been up since three in the morning. It's time to go check out for the day. But uh I got all this birds broken. Except for that staircase. I think I'm just gonna try to sell that like it is. Somebody might want that. <sighs> Same with this access panel door over here. Is pretty cool. I may install this when I build my kiln. And then I got this pile over here that I gotta take home. And I'm gonna, it's all the birch, I guess, is what it is. Home, and I'm gonna, not now, but when I get done, I'm gonna take it home. And there's a good six to eight inches between all the nails. And there you go. He's moving the, the pile from there to there. Oh. Maybe when he's done, I'll have him move it back. What do you guys think? No! <laughs> All right, I got some oak. That ended up being a flop. It wasn't really that oak. There was some oak paneling on it. Or plywood right here. But uh, that was it. This is just a pot of regular little CVX. But I got a lot of LSB. Looks like five sheets. Ain't no point in being gentle with it. Just get after it, get it done. All right. You know what these are? I just found these in a box. They're closet made. They're 16 inch shelf brackets. They, uh, they clip on like what you'd find at the stores to hold up those big metal shelves. I think these things are about 15 bucks each. 
It might be a little cheaper on Amazon or something, but I got 25 of them. So I'll be selling these on There's like an eighth of an inch of oak skin or something. Oh, I'm putting it the wrong. Oh, no, that's just one. And then it's like a half inch thick particle board. Maybe even like quarter inch thick. And it appears to be real oak skin. But it's stapled too. I can't get it off. got this coat on it this is a particle board but when I cut it it's got this plastic laminate or something on it and you can see it's chipping it doesn't hurt but it doesn't feel either good either all right what I'm doing is this is a nice metal rack here I can use this when I get my kiln built to uh, stack lumber on there and roll it in and out of the kiln. Okay, that sign's been there so long. It's not coming out. So, five more time. Saturday and they're gonna take all the stuff that I'm not taking well hopefully they're gonna take it all whatever they don't take I gotta tear down and cut up and throw away <coughs> no back at it It's a little scary. <laughs> I'm gonna put some ice stuff on. Alright, they're here. They're unloading here. What do we got looking at? It'll be gone after today, most of this. Getting there. Here's some of the, the first load. I'm actually waiting on my trailer to get here so I can get the rest of the stuff, but it's supposed to be here tomorrow, but I don't want to wait for it. I'm going to start taking as much of this as I can fit in the back of this SUV here. Um, so far, this is what I got. I can't fit the 10-footers, but I can get some of the 8-footers right up the middle there, as you can see, and then some of the 6-footers and 7-footers, and then all the one buys. I've salvaged quite a bit of wood here. This is awesome. Now, there's still more. I tell you, I got enough wood to build my shed. Okay, we're coming right along. It's a pile of particle board I cut up today. Well, just in the last 20 minutes or so. This is all going to go. I'm going to take the metal off it. I salvaged the screws because screws are expensive. And then I got to get this stuff home, my door. My uh, birch boards up over there, and I got my cabinets, and, and then so there's some uh, 
There's some pallet slats in here that I'm going to take. You never know when you're going to need those. That's it. Hoping to be out of here in three days. That's about it. Um, so this is what happens. The stuff that I salvaged out of here, I'm going to show you what I do with it. Um, some of the things I've already sold on eBay, so I'll, I'll post. I wasn't smart enough to think about um, screenshotting them or taking uh, Mo Bison videos of the listings. I got one. I don't know if I showed you, but these uh, office phones I took out of here, I got those sold already. And then I sold a, what was it? It was a digital typewriter and a box of those 16 inch heavy duty brackets. I showed you those, I remember. I sold those, and there's some other stuff too that I'm going to sell still. And then I'm going to build, like I was just talking about in the previous video, build the little picnic bench. But that'll all be a separate video. This is just the cleaning out portion. Um, just to show you what I did, what I've done, and then what I'm going to do is everything I, I make to sell or that I've salvaged, I'm going to post to my Facebook page and link to my eBay. And if you have something that you've built that you want to sell, advertise it on my Facebook page. And then if somebody's interested, set up a YouTube, and, or not a YouTube, set up an eBay auction or buy it now, and then private message them the link to it. And then you guys can work out a transaction through my page. Basically, treat my Facebook page just like a virtual swap meet. Um, so if we can get enough people to subscribe to the YouTube and enough people to go to the Facebook page, we can use those in correlation with eBay. And maybe we can have like our own little community of um, like a way to advertise, you know, way to get your items, your products, your crafts out there. As long as you make it, I really don't care. Even if you don't make it, man, I, don't, I really don't care. But I'm not liable for anything. If someone sells you junk, that's on you. Do your due diligence. I'm not playing middleman. I'm not solving disputes. I'm not processing payments. I'm simply providing an outlet for you to advertise and find things. And then you guys can meet up on YouTube, uh, eBay and finish the, the transaction yourself. I advise not purchasing anything unless you use PayPal or going through eBay or some kind of reputable, um, uh, uh, you know, listing site. Um, 
there's a bunch of them out there. You guys know. So, that's what we got. This will pretty much wrap up this video. Um, I may show you a little bit of my... Oh my, my house is so... My garage is so cluttered. I'm going to show you a little bit of building the shed. And then getting my garage cleaned out. And turning that into my, uh, my sawmill. So, that will probably be the next video. This will just be starting... Um, for now, they're not going to come off regularly until I get up and running with the sawmill and, and I'm to the point of I'm trying to get my kiln built and I'm trying to make money, you know, cutting, cutting boards or, or whatever. So that's where I'm at. Like it, share, and subscribe. And if you want to see me sweat, just come back. I'll, I'll post new videos as often as I can. Hope you guys have a great day. I'm Roy Pearson.